Nabita Hospital was established um, on, on 1st August 1979, um, about um, 36 years ago. Um, after we, we have returned from our service uh, at Rara Government Hospital and Kitikrati Government Hospital, myself and my wife uh, started the uh, clinic. We named the clinic Nabita. Uh, after my grandfather. My grandfather was called Na. He um, converted to Christianity, uh, you know, in those days, about 150 years ago, you know, our forefathers were worshiping idols. So he was one of them. And then when the German missionaries uh, arrived at Krobo Dumase, that is my hometown, um, they met this old man called Na, you know, and uh, they uh, converted him. Before then, there was another Na who also converted from paganism to Christianity. So to differentiate between the two Nars, the Germans added these uh, um, Greek uh, alphabets, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Omega. So my grandfather was called Na Beta, that is Na the second, Na the second. He was Na, but the Germans added the Beta to it. So he became known as Na Beta, Na Beta, Na Beta. And because he converted, uh, his people didn't like the idea. So he, together with his wife and four children, they were ostracized, they were sacked from the family house. So they went into the wilderness, into the forest. They suffered. Um, so it was the German missionaries who took care of them. And we were told this, my grandfather died at an early age, and people believed he was poisoned by his, uh, his family members because uh, he converted, you know. So the German missionaries took care of the, the old lady and the four children. And, uh, we believed God blessed them because he sacrificed his life for the sake of the gospel. And because of that, we took inspiration from this uh, history and uh, named the, the hospital uh, Nabita. So we have Nabita Memorial Hospital, but uh, to avoid the mouthful, we call it Nabita, Nabita Hospital. We were three who started the hospital, my, my, my wife and I and uh, our house health, who doubled as a, a health assistant. And uh, the first day we started the hospital, we saw 13 patients. And now we are seeing over 200, you know. And uh, uh, we have over 100, 150 staff. Uh, the Nabita School of Nursing was established and it developed into Nabita College. It came to a point, nurses were leaving for greener pastures and uh, we realized we have to do something about that. So we decided to go into nursing school so that we have a lot of staff to support the system. We started as a school of nursing in 2004 and in 2004 we started with eight staff or eight tutors and 16 nursing students 
they had only one male nursing student among the 16. Now the student population is about 950 students. We have about 18 full-time lecturers or tutors and then about uh, 15 part-time lecturers and we have around uh, close to 20 supporting staff. We have competent teaching staff here and normally we just don't say they are competent. We, we normally go for seminar workshops to upgrade their standard and also there are facilities which give opportunity to lecturers or teachers to upgrade themselves. If you really want to meet your mission, you need to have adequate staff, not just adequate staff, but the quality. So we are always key in developing our staff. Nabisa Hospital, because it is a teaching facility as well, and I must say we are one of the first private hospitals to be accredited to be a teaching facility for physician assistants and family physicians, which we pride ourselves in. Because of that, we attract a lot of students to come and study to be better physicians or better doctors. The basic requirement for the diploma programs include one, credits in the core subjects. The core subject include the mathematics, English, and integrated science. So at least the candidate must have credits in these three core subjects. And three other electives. And three electives the candidate must have a science subject. You have science option, that's biology, physics, chemistry, and elective maths. The candidate can also be a general art student, the history, the economics, we have the languages, the Ghanaian languages, we have nutrition, and then we also have uh, other subjects. We have agric students, general agric, you have elective maths, and then biology. We have to ensure that they are qualified. And this is done through interview process. Certificates are inspected, but normally some bring in free certificates. So what happens is that after the admission, we send the certificates to exam council for verification. So when the verified results are sent, we compare with the, what they give to us. And if we realize that some are fake, then we don't hesitate at all, we just ask you to withdraw. We have students from all over the country, right from the northern region, especially for our medical lab program. We have one department called the Medical Laboratory Department, and that department is the Adum Lab. That is a campus, Adum Campus. It's called Adum Campus. Yes, so that's where we have our medical laboratory department. So they have two programs, the Adam campus, we have two programs. We have the diploma medical laboratory technology program, and then we have the certificate program. The certificate is two years, and then the diploma is three years. In addition to the school, we have the service department, uh, where patients uh, are looked after through uh, uh, you know, investigation of their blood and you need to find out the cause of their illness. Uh, we basically have four departments. We have uh, hematology, chemical pathology, we have microbiology and endocrinology. 
we run tests that has to do with all these departments. Uh, we also have a school upstairs where students who come here to have a practical feel of what they learn upstairs. And these students are taken through all the various four departments to have a practical feel of what is studied in the classrooms. With the demonstration, what practically goes on here is taking the students through the various practices and the skills they need to be equipped um, to be proper nurses on the ward. So from bed making to the serving and removal of bedpan to the most advanced procedures that take place in the hospitals. And for the demonstration room, it's not only restricted to the nursing students, but as well as the physician assistants. They also come in for um, demonstrations with their tutors as well. It has been three years since I've been in Abita. It's been a wonderful experience. We have very punctual lectures and lecturers. They always come to lectures on time and then they teach us very well. We have a good um, demonstration room. We have almost all it needs, the equipment we need in the demonstration room to practice. And then we have a very good uh, library with all the needed books. The library is a very important part of the college. It supports teaching, learning and research activities. And we want to provide for every user, right? those who are being trained in nursing, the tutors, the hospital, the practitioners, they, they are also users of the library. When assignments are given, students rush in and there's no way you can tell them not to come in because they are usually given deadlines. We have started midwifery program and the midwifery program we have started is uh, post basic health assistant chemical midwifery program. Uh, we started this academic year 2014-2015 with only four students. The midwifery is going to be accredited or is accredited by the uh, Nurses and Midwifery Council. Being the first badge of Nabita School of Nursing offering the midwifery course, I want to challenge myself to do well, to give my maximum best. At the moment, we are running diploma programs and certificate programs. And those who have completed the diploma programs, we encourage them to come back and continue with their first degree. And very soon, this academic year, 2015-2016 academic year, hopefully we are going to start the BSc Nursing and Medical Lab Technology Program. In our regime, 2014-2015 SLC, We've been able to secure an SLC office and then we've been able to introduce Nabita to the National Health Student Association of Ghana, which is the uh, representative for um, all health institutions or health professionals in Ghana here today. The college is growing. At the moment, we have about six classrooms, large classrooms. We are going to put up a two-story building to actually help us admit more and to be able to fulfill our dream.